Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, we're looking at May 15 through May 21st. Big news this week is that the Sun is moving into Gemini, your fifth house of romance, creativity and self-fulfillment. And this is going to be a very good thing. It's been a little bit lacklustre over the last couple of weeks and months and I really feel that June is the time the 2017 is going to kick into a much higher gear. And finally, we're going to understand what 2017 is all about. It's been a very strange year. I just feel with the political environment and with the ups and downs there and the ups and downs in the economy and just it's been, it hasn't felt like it's settled in yet. I don't feel like we've kicked into high gear. And I feel like in June, June 9 to be exact, when Jupiter moves direct and there's a full moon in Sagittarius, both of which are fantastic for you, you're going to see a remarkable difference. So this time next month, we'll all be singing a different tune, and I hold on to that as fact. So the sun moves into Gemini, and that is going to be very good for you. Venus, the goddess of love, remains in Aries. It's been there a long time, and it's there through June, and that's your third house of siblings, and close relationships and travel. Now, if you haven't seen somebody in a while and you keep thinking to yourself, I need to go see my sister, my brother, my cousin, my aunt, my uncle, that's going to get stronger and stronger. So see if you can't fit that in. I know you're a very busy person, but sometimes just checking in with people, even if it's for a couple of hours, even if you fly in and fly out the same day, it means so much to people especially people who are older, who don't get a lot of visitors. And that's another thing that's happening this week, is that Saturn is meeting up with your ruler Uranus and could bring about a, a scientific breakthrough where something that could be discovered or found or decided upon that's going to affect the older population and be very good for the older population. I'm talking about people who need stem cell research done and all that sort of thing, which is frowned upon in so many countries. But in Australia, the research continues. So I'll be interested to see over the next month or so if anything does happen. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.